Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Burial. This is courtesy of Matt, so thank you so much. This is Rationality Shall Run Its Course IPA, 7.5%. And um, they have a bunch of like, you know, those, like stone. They like write a bunch of things and it's like, you know, fits their um, theme motif kind of thing. It's, you know, got that like, I mean, awakened among the sea of our dire circumstances, blah, 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 you know, so. Uh, this is a 7.5% New England IPA. It's a kitchen sink kind of beer. It's got all the malts um, or all the grains, uh, lactose, and then all, all the hops. It's all the, you know, hops you guys know. So beer is very pale. Uh, it comes in a straw to like old color, full on haze, right? I mean, like maybe, some, yeah, it's full on. That's full on haze. That looks like juice. Very pale, looks actually a lot like the Fiddlehead beers. Uh, really fluffy white head. I poured it a little bit aggressive, but yeah. Jesus. The canning is like real April. Is this like a week fresh? April? I can't read that. I can't read that. It's one of those where like the um, the print has sort of gotten passed under the can. So it's like on the edge and stuff. So it's hard to read. But reminds me of Monkish. It's got that like little bit of, um, what's that like lightly chalky kind of like drywall kind of thing when you add like a lot. I guess that's one of the things you get when add a lot of hops into a beer. It's actually relatively muted, but again, it does remind me a little bit of uh, the monkish beers. It has a little bit of like citrus in there, a little bit of like lemon. Some of that pineapple. Light fruitiness. A little bit of like, almost like Lucky Charms kind of thing. Slight berry note. Cheers. Yeah, that's in line. Uh, reminds me, I mean, most recently, the monkish and the fiddlehead beers. It's very, very, very pale. Um, I'm surprised there's lactose in here. I mean, I like where lactose is really hidden. It really helps like, just like bump up the beer a little bit more in sweetness. I imagine they could have used it because, yeah. I suspect that this was a very, 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 very high um, adjunct grain uh, beer. So a lot of oats, wheat, or something like that. Yeah, just like straight Pilsner, Morturo, and then just tons and tons of wheat notes. It, it just really has a lot of that kind of oaty character. Um, you know, it tastes like oat milk. It tastes like, you know, just cereal grains, you know? Yep, and it's got a little bit of that kind of a perfumey thing. And yeah, a lot of hops, it's got like a rosy uh, note to it. It's got a nice creaminess to it, sorry. Uh, a little bit of silkiness, a little bit of maybe bump the sweetness, but then it has a little bit of that hop burn on the back end. The hop flavors in here are not too distinct. It, you know, has hop flavor. It's obviously a New England IPA, but it doesn't really burst of like any specific kind of like flavors. I mean, certainly fruity. Yeah, I mean, it follows through with a little bit of that kind of, um, it's very yellow. So I'm thinking of uh, fruits like kumquat and fruits like, um, Valencia orange and, and, and uh, limoncello and all these bright yellowy kind of flavors um, and then a little bit of sweetness in there a little bit of like this very pale kind of fruit punchy kind of thing yeah there you go like a little bit like a uh, like a lemon sour yeah not quite daiquiri lime maybe a little bit of lime so again like a uh, you know citrus based uh, sour cocktail um, Quite nice. Reminds me of like some of the monkish beers. Again, I, I prefer my beers a little bit more focused, a little bit more um, defined in their hop characteristics. It uh, also, I don't know, feels like it could use a little, I mean, the mouth feels fine, but has a little bit of that like, thankfully none of that, um, not too much of that noticeable kind of uh, chalky thing. Not too, uh, not much of that hot burn thing. But it's got its kind of like bottled hop kind of flavor. Very good though, well executed. A little bit of that rosiness, yeah, quite nice. Uh, this for me gets a, for 7.5%, which this beer is a little chunkier, right? A little bit more like rich and full. Um, it's very lean for 7.5% beer, but again, it, this is on par with, I think if, if, if you like Monkish, if you like some of these beers, you're gonna love, love, love this beer. This is me picking through, you know, my very detailed preferences of New England IPA. This for me gets a, 94, 94. Burial, uh, rationality shall run its course. 
Uh, definitely some world class New England IPA here. I mean, again, my opinion is different from what I think that these beers taste like. I think a lot of people will appreciate this one. Definitely like uh, a super, super high rating for a lot of people on this one. So until next time, guys, cheers. Thank you so much, Matt. This is Burial. Later.